Welcome back. In recent videos, we've discussed uh, how to have a correct setup in your golf swing. We've discussed some exercises you can use to improve your hip flexibility. And we've also just, uh, discussed some things you can use to improve your lat flexibility. Today I want to show you a simple test you can use to see if you have the proper shoulder rotational capabilities. So if I'm standing up tall, I've got my arm pointed out, I fold it to 90 degrees, keeping my elbow level with my shoulder. I'm using my spine as an indicator for how much rotation I have. Looking at this edge of the forearm, you'll see this would be at 90 degrees, this is more than 90 degrees. The importance of that shoulder rotational capability for me as a right-handed golfer is as I come into my backswing, my shoulder will externally rotate. So if, I, if that's limited, it's going to shorten the extension that I'm able to get in the, in the backswing or change the plane at which the club is moving on. On the left side as a right-handed golfer, if the left shoulder can't externally rotate, again, it could change the plane at which I swing on or it could cause a chicken wing, which means the left elbow gets through and it doesn't allow the right hand to come on over. So a simple test you can use, stand up tall, fold the elbow, we're looking to see can I get beyond 90 degrees in relation to my spine. Check that test at home or here at the gym, see if you can do that.